Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial video. As promised, I'm going to be doing this tutorial to uh, show you how to make your own TechIt server. Um, it's really easy, uh, thanks to someone called Casper. Uh, I don't think that's the real name, but he's known as Casper. Um, he has made an app which has all the files built in and it's much easier. So the download will be in the description. It will come in a zip file, so if I just search for this, uh, it will be like techitserverapp.zip. Um, all you want to do is you want to unzip it and you'll have the Techit Server 2.1.1. Uh, so, basically, you want to open this. Uh, so, when you open it, once it's extracted, sort of thing. Uh, take a while to load. Server files will be installed to your home directory for slash users for slash your username. So if you go here, it will be in this area. And if I look here, you can see it says ticket server there. If you click OK, then it says type the amount of RAM. Um, two is a good average number for it. So basically, it'll open up your cancer, it'll open up your console. It will do all this. However, it won't do it as good as this. It won't go as far. You'll get an error. Um, and basically, all you want to do is when you get this error, uh, you want to do a couple of things. Actually, you want to go to TechIt server. You want to stop your server. Click close. Once you've gone to Techit Server, you want to go to uh, Mods. Then you'll have one here above Computer Craft. It says uh, Advanced Machines. Uh, control click it and move to Trash. However, that is not that one, but I'll just show you how to do it. I'll right click it and click Move to Trash. Then it also helps if you go to config and the, the, around here will be IC2 advanced machines delete that then you want to search in your finder tech it and you want to find your tech it server you want to right click on it open and closing folder it'll come up with this you want to then right click that and show package contents you want to go into contents resources go down to tech it server then in mods and you want to download where it says uh the advanced machines again yeah again this is not here for me i've already deleted it but it will be there and it'll have like a number two on it in front of it i think so yeah once you've done that that's like the main you know cause of the error you there so you can start it up again you can start up your server and it, it always comes up with that warning you can always change the ram so if you know you've got a lot of programs up and using the, a lot of internet, you can make it lower. So that's cool. So it should, mine did it really quick then, but for you it will take a bit longer. So it's going to uh, create all this and it's going to say that it's done. And you'll notice it's done when it says RP2 will successful, successfully loaded in EE. Okay. So once you've got that done, to connect to your server, first you need to go to your system preferences. You want to go to your network. I'm not going to show you this, but basically in your network, it will come up with your internet, like your IP address. So it just says IP address. You just want to note down that. Um, so then, whilst that's still open, you can minimize it, but make sure it's open. But I'm going to keep it open so you can see when I join it will say on here. So you want to open up your... Uh, tech it launcher you've got both of these here so just wait for this and you need to make sure you are on the tech it one which is the black one and click login
Uh, you will get this warning. Can't keep up. Did the system time change? Or is the server overloaded? You'll get that a lot. But it's actually fine. So here's my server. Click it. And make sure. In fact, I just forgot to tell you something then. Um, when you do add server, make sure you type in the IP that you used uh, for your you know for your that you found in your uh, system preferences so as you see I've got some weird swords here I've got some modded swords some coloured fences some like really fat fences uh, so like coloured fences we got that we got a computer however that's not working there's an error with that at the minute Hopefully there'll be an update soon. Uh, you got too many items. You got if you're in creative, you'll have most of that stuff. Anyway, you have options to turn off creative, time, hit, heal a player, uh, and some really good advanced options. You get advanced sounds. So if I go underwater. It really sounds like you're actually underwater. They've like just up the sounds a bit, and like you can hear the wind. The wind does get quite annoying though, but especially storms, they get even more annoying. Um, but yeah, so that's the basics of creating a server. If you have any questions, post them in, down in the comment section. Also, subscribe to see more videos, um, and uh, comment if if it's worked or not. Um, and how easy it was and make sure you like and then for me helping you I guess that's just a way of saying thank you so I'll see you later guys